So for instance, here's a project we started uh, three, four years ago, but it's still going on in different directions. Um, it's called Trash Track. And it's really about how you can today, you know, track and uh, understand a lot of things about our objects. So our idea was, what if you could actually tag trash and then follow it so we understand what goes in the right place, what doesn't go in the right place, you know, how we can optimize the waste management system and so on. So what we did was actually develop a little tag. It's almost like a miniature cell phone. We had to develop it together with Qualcomm. Um, and, uh, and then you know, this is the tag that we put on trash. And then after tagging thousands and thousands of pieces, we started following them. And so, you know, if you want, this is a little bit like what happens when you go to hospital. They put a tracer in your blood and then they follow your blood through the body. So how you can do the same thing at the scale of an entire city. And what you learn from a project like this is actually manifold. You know, one thing you learn um, is that you got so much information about the system and you can see how you could optimize it. If you look at the traces, you see a lot of energy actually, for instance, today is wasted because things are not moving in the most optimized way. So you can actually, with an engineer's perspective, you can take this information and try to design a better waste management system. Another thing that's very important is uh, how this information can be shared with people. And then it can start kind of behavioral change. One of the most telling things was at the end of the project, somebody came to us and said, you know, I used to drink water in plastic bottles every day and then put the bottles outside my door and forget about them. But actually, I now know that they, they you know, uh, will go a few miles from home and to a landfill and stay there forever. And because of that, so I stopped drinking water in plastic bottles. So the idea is that this incredible wealth of data we have today, if you take all the data produced by humanity from the beginning to 2003, well, that amount of data is more or less what we produce today every, every day or every couple of days. So this incredible amount of data can actually tell us a lot of things about, about us, about our environment, about our cities, and then as a consequence of that, we can really change our behavior. This increased information can help us make more informed decisions. So think about what happens with waste management today. And, uh, you know, if your contract says that you need to empty bins every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, you need to go there, regardless if the bin is full or empty. But just, you know, it will need, you will need just a very small sensor to see if it's full or empty, and then you can just go and, and empty the bins you need to, that you, where you need to go. You know, that becomes something very interesting because uh, it's a kind of win-win-win for, for Ferrovial or, say, for the operator, or waste management operator, uh, but also for the citizens and for the city. You have the less traffic, less pollution, and uh, you don't go there unless you need to go there. Or in other cases, you actually might go there more often than your contract actually uh, claimed for, uh, because, uh, I don't know, there has been a concert and then there's a lot of garbage in that part of town. So the question is, again, how we can use sensing in order to provide a more dynamic response to the city. In starting from this, you know, uh, with Ferrovial, we said, well, why don't we do this? They operate in different cities, in the UK, in Spain, including in Barcelona. So with Barcelona, what we are suggesting is then, why don't we actually make this information available to citizens? So then you know when the track is coming, and uh, you also can tell the track, or say, you know, you should come here and report something. This is happening a lot in cities all across the world, where people use something like 311 to report about what is you know, a problem in the city. Maybe there's some trash, some garbage, or you know, there's a pothole in the road. But uh, uh, it hasn't happened yet fully in the sense of seeing the whole loop where you can actually see in real time the track that's coming and it's coming to fix a problem in the city. So all of this is about using this real-time information in order to create feedback loops in the city. 